What is up guys, back into the video. Today we're going to go over on the Dolphin emulator. We're going to learn how exactly we could set it up for to play on a 360 controller. If you don't know if I have a 360 controller or you want proof that I actually have one, I'll go into my uh, connected devices real quick and I will show you on my main monitor, that's where it's showing is all my valu valuable information so I don't really want you to see my main monitor, but here is a Xbox wireless controller right there. Uh, mouse cursor isn't showing here we go okay here's my uh, Xbox wireless controller um so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go into controllers I actually have a complete setup already so I already have a preload a loadout to or already be already use so we're gonna reset everything to defaults and we're gonna go ahead and configure it so right now it's currently on keyboard and mouse so we're gonna set it to uh, X input zero one zero gamepad so this is my Xbox controller because this is the only one I have connected you can also um, hook it up through an Android charger cord. You can actually hook it up through there to set up an Xbox controller or Xbox One controller. And also through the wireless adapter too. I'm using the wireless adapter because I like it through there. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to set up the button. So there's A, Z, C, S, D. This is A, B, Y. A, B, Y. This is for a game controller. We need a standard, standard controller. I don't know why it's a game controller. All right, whatever, they'll still work. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we have the A button, so we go ahead and click A, B, X, Y, and Z. I can set as my right bumper because that's the closest as you're gonna get. And then um, start menu would be the start button. And um, actually, I'm gonna use the Xbox Home. We can use the Xbox Home as the button. And then uh, control stick, which is up, down, left, right. And then I should be able to, as you can see, this is the responsiveness right here. Pan to see um, my activity through the through it. So I know it's... So if you're like um, inverted, which is going to be in the C stick area, then you're going to want to switch out up and down. But I'm not inverted, so I can go up, down, left, right. So as you can see, I should be able to go in a complete circle, and there you go. So the trigger ones, which is left and right, left and right, and then there's left and right analog, which I'm not too sure if they had that on the Xbox, on the GameCube controller, I'm not too sure. D-pad's obvious, up, down, left, right, and then you can also set up your um, motor. Which side is that? That would be my right motor. Select, test, that's my right motor. My left motor. So if I have it run, both of them will go off. That's how you set those up. So you have the rum the rumble motors going. If you didn't know, it's basically like a motor that spins around in circles with a weight on it. That's all. It, that's all it is. Left and right analog. I don't really know what that is. So let's. I never heard of the left and right analog on the GameCube controller. So let's look up GameCube controller. Let's see what we got. Left and right analog. Unless they're talking about this. Are they talking about clicking down? I don't think it had clicking down, did it? Did it? I don't... Trigger stick. C triggers. Did it? I don't think it did. This is the controller I had back then. No, it didn't have a clicking action, so I don't know... I don't think it had a clicking motion, did it? No. I don't think it had a clicking motion, but if someone says they know what this is, then please tell me, but I don't know. I don't think they had. So we're going to set up this preset as Xbox One Controller. Then we're going to click Save. And as you can see, it's going to be right here, so we can switch. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my old one. 
Oh, my old one's broken. So I'm going to get rid of my old one. Get rid of the, as you can see, everything's fixed now. I don't know what modifier is, but okay. Click OK and click OK. And so when I load up Windwalker on this screen, and it should work. So I still have my controllers all hooked up, so. Ta da! Okay, so let's. I can't use my keyboard to do this, so I'm going to have to actually do the full controller thing. Just put in a L. Get right there. And then I'm going to continue the video in a second so I can show you that I can move around in circles and stuff. So this introduction is pretty actually pretty long, so... So, to now prove the concept, as you can see, my mouse cursor is around the game, so um, it's not animated. I am playing it with the Xbox One controller. Actually, pretty cool. It's um, totally working. Um, obviously, I don't have a sword yet, but anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you want to know how to make this in full 1080p, 60, no, not actually 60 FPS, but in widescreen, just like what I did in 1080p, um, there's a way to do it. So just let me drag and drop this little emulator over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to graphics. To force aspect ratio 16 by 9. If I'm using 1080p, I use 16 by 9. Or you can stretch it all the way to the window. Which actually, I kind of like that better. See, originally it's 4 by 3, or it's set to auto and it's 4 by 3, but originally I would, I would rather have it here, so. And then, because that, oh shoot. Because that actually looks better and more appealing to me, you know what I mean? So. That's how you do it. Catch you guys in this video. Give me a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.